Okay, everybody. So I just wanted to give you a story about my past and tell, see if any of you have ever experienced something like this. So, years back, I was working at a good job and they brought me in as a temp. I got, I was supposed to be made permanent or whatever uh, within like four months and it never happened, but that was fine. Um, so, about two years into the job, I they had done some switching around in the company and some of us got to were put on this manager and some of us were assigned to this manager but for some reason i got assigned to a manager in a completely different building who i had only said hello to in passing at most in the past when i got assigned to her she never came and introduced herself to me or came and talked to me to tell me like what her expectations of me were or nothing i had zero interaction with her after she was my new manager uh, which I think is odd too. And so anyway, after about maybe four or six months, um, I get called into the manager or supervisor's office of, of our actual department who worked in the same room with all of us in the little like call center area. And he sits me down to tell me that they're going to let me go. And I'm like, okay, why? And he actually had the nerve to say to me, because you're not doing these certain things, you're not doing your job in these certain ways. And I told him, I said, well, that's interesting because I was never once told that was even my job, any of those things. So of course I'm not doing them. And how come I'm not hearing about it, that I'm not doing this, all this stuff? How, why is this the first time I'm hearing about it? When I'm getting like basically fired. And he goes, oh, sorry, you know, I don't, I can't really do anything about it. And I said, why aren't you fighting for me? You know, I'm a good worker. And he's like, well, they already made up their mind. There's nothing I can say. So he, I felt in the moment I got tricked into thinking he was doing me a favor because he said, I'm not going to fire you. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you off so you can get unemployment. So I thought, okay, well, at least there's that, you know. <clears throat> so I turn around. So I end up telling him, well, hey, since it's late in the day, can I just stay until the end of the day till everyone else leaves? And then I'll clear out my locker or clear out my desk and you know go and he goes yeah no problem so he walks so as we're walking out of the building him and I he escorts me out okay normal as he escorts me out he's telling me oh go to this temp service who they this which is I believe who they hired me through the first time go through this temp service and see my niece or cousin or somebody he was related to work there he said see her and she'll get you a job probably within a week because this was a temp service that specialized, by far had the most jobs in the field I was in. Other temp services had some, but 75% of the jobs went of the through temp services went through this one temp place. So I'm like, okay. So the next day I call him back and I say, hey, you know what? I don't remember the name of the contact person you told me to see at the temp service. Oh, you can't go through them. That's where I'm going to go. You can't go through them. I'm going to go through them to replace you. And it gets like all weird. And I'm like, what the frick? And I'm like, okay, but you told me to go through these people. But you can't, you can't, you can't. I'm like, what the hell, dude? So then it gets even worse because not only has he just, you know, I kind of got cut off from all those opportunities. Then I find out when I start going to the same temp service in other cities, as soon as they would call me and tell me they wanted to interview me and I'd call back to make the appointment, they would never call me back. Or, oh, yeah, sorry, that job's been filled. Oh, that's, that job's been filled. And these are jobs I'm totally qualified for, if not even overqualified for. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I think he went to the temp service and actually had me, like, blackballed. Or he had me, like, flagged, like, don't give this person a chance. Do not hire her for nothing. So I got screwed out of, I bet you anything, I was totally qualified, if not overqualified, for at least 15 separate jobs in, like, the next five months that they were offering hiring for. And I had no chance because I think he went to his cousin and had me flagged in the system to don't give this person a chance whatsoever or like blackballed or whatever. But anyway, I just wanted to see if you guys ever had an experience like that because back then I had no clue I could even like maybe sue or do something legally because he admitted he was letting me go for a job for not doing things that I was never told they were my job. 
and I was never talked to about, hey, you're not doing this, this, and this about your on your job. You're only doing part of your job. So anyway, I had no clue I could even sue, but I think too, I don't think it really would have even occurred to me because he was initially, he was giving me, laying me off instead of firing me so I'd get an unemployment. So anyway, I just want to see if you guys ever got, had something like that yourself. So do tell. Toodle do.